Now, and this species of veriformin has been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a this thing. What? what? 25 years ago, they roamed the big screen. Welcome to Jurassic Park. A sight to be seen, even if they're only computer generated. But in real life? Quite a shocking discovery. In 2015, in eastern Oregon, Greg Retallick wasn't exactly looking for dinosaur bones. We were really looking for ammonites, and we found quite a few right there. But amongst the ammonites was something never before found in Oregon. He found this bone. He says it's from the foot of a land-dwelling dinosaur, similar to this one. Ornithopods are the group that includes um, iguanodon. Um, and also duckbill dinosaurs, and it's a great shame actually, it's not actually a duckbill, because we're the Oregon ducks of course, that would have been pretty awesome. His colleague Edward Davis helped confirm the bone was from a dinosaur, noting that this one most likely didn't roam across Oregon. In this case, we think this animal decomposed and the skeleton was actually broken apart uh, after it was in the ocean, and that's why we only ended up with this single toe bone. A toe bone to an unknown dinosaur. And we can't give it a name, sadly. Although maybe we should have a competition for a nickname. Wouldn't that be good? Um, we can't give it a scientific name because there's just not enough to be sure what it is exactly. A Retallicsaurus. This type of dinosaur, though, was an herbivore and lived around the same time as T-Rex. If you want to check it out, maybe you're going to the football game this weekend, go before the game. It's on display at the Museum of Natural and Cultural History on U of O's campus.